What's up, everybody? This is Casey, and I am the Rockstar Flipper. It is February 23rd, 2016. Today is Tuesday. Uh, I hope everybody had a really great day. I hope you guys bought a lot of stuff. I hope you guys made a lot of money today. And uh, I want to do something a little different today. Um, typically, we talk about the hottest items. What's everybody selling? What is everybody looking for? What's going to make you great profits? And I want to talk about some items today that are going to make you good profits, but they're not on everybody's radar. They're kind of the fly by the seat of their pants under the radar. Uh, nobody really looks for them items. But they're really great margins. And the other good thing about these 10 items is they're all really cheap. And most of them are easy to find. I sell a lot of these items uh, on my channel or my eBay page uh, all the time. So um, let's dive right into it. And the first one I'm going to tell you guys about is board game pieces. Now a lot of people do kind of know about this one. It got... You know, kind of popular not too long ago, and it goes up and down. But um, I'm talking about those Monopoly pieces, the sets of tokens. I'm talking about the hotels and the houses and the money and the deed cards. Those are all worth money, individual or together as a set. Um, I'm talking about Scrabble tiles. Craft people love Scrabble tiles. They love, 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 love them. Uh, I'm talking about, um, you know, any game that you need to replace something of. A timer, uh, uh, an hourglass, a buzzer, tokens, dice. Uh, little act, you know, little plastic figures or tokens or game pieces, anything like that. And of course, look it up before you buy it. But you might be able to buy that game from a garage sale for a dollar because all the pieces are going to be worth fifteen or twenty together. So it's something to think about. You sometimes breaking up the board game is best because to ship the whole game, yeah, you might be able to sell it for twenty bucks, but it's going to cost you ten, twelve, fourteen dollars to ship it when you could just take the pieces out and sell them for twenty and only pay two or three dollars to ship them. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna switch up uh, my windows and here you go, you can see my, my eBay window open now. And um, basically I have uh, some completed listings of some Monopoly pieces. You can see these things. Now they only look like they're two fifty and three dollars but they're charging three and four dollars shipping as well which covers their fees and their shipping. You can see the hotels and houses. We can keep scrolling till the end of time on this. Uh, $50 for a whole set. Um, again, $10 with free shipping. So you can see the Monopoly pieces are pretty popular. Uh, $7.50, especially the tokens. The tokens are what you want to look for. They typically sell the fastest and for the highest. Um, so then we'll go to Scrabble tiles. So here is a lot of 2000 Now you'd have to buy a ton of Scrabble games because if I'm right, there's like 100 per box. So this is like 20 games worth for $110. But let's just say they picked them up for a dollar a piece. That's a $20 investment they sold for $110. So let's scroll down to some cheaper ones and see if they've got just one set. Here's a $375 set for $90. So that's really only like three or four sets. Uh, we'll scroll down even more to see if they've got just maybe like one set of, of Scrabble tiles here. Um, I don't think they do, but uh, yeah. So here's a hundred wood Scrabble tiles with racks, and they sold them. Looks like for sixty-seven dollars. So you guys can see there's definitely value in those as well. A thousand pieces, sixty-five. A thousand for fifty. So definitely something to keep an eye out if you see a Scrabble game. Scoop it up. I'm pretty sure you can sell one Scrabble game's worth of tiles for about $15, 10 to 15 bucks. So if it's anything less than like a dollar or two, grab it. So number one, board game pieces. Cheap, small, light, easy to pack, easy to ship. You should be able to find them at any Goodwill, any thrift store, any um, yard sale, garage sale. Board games are everywhere. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, cheap board games, less than, you know, two, three dollars. Uh, item number two, um, small action figures. Uh, and specifically, the vintage ones are always good. Uh, G.I. Joe's, you can see these He-Man toys at $30, $40 a piece, $19, $30. He-Man toys are the bomb if you can find them. They're hard to find. but um, And then little girls, uh, My Little Ponies, they're fantastic. Uh, $13, $10, $15, $20. Dollars. You can find sets of these at garage sales. I picked up you know little buckets of $20, $30 of them for 5 bucks at a yard sale. I think I sold them all for like $150, you know, $10, $15 bucks a piece. So keep an eye out for My Little Ponies, for He-Man, for G.I. Joe, for Polly Pockets, any of those vintage toys, and even some of the newer ones, Pokemon toys, Scooby-Doo toys, anything little action figures, small ones, you can ship them first class, and you can usually pick them up at any yard sale, garage sale, thrift store, 50 cents a dollar. So small action figures, toys, always really good to look out for. 
Um, shot glasses. Believe it or not, shot glasses, there are people that collect them. There are people that want them for their bar. There are people that buy them for their restaurants, for their bars. All kinds of shot glasses that sell on eBay. I sell a ton of them. I almost always pay 50 cents or a dollar or less for them. Um, so here's two San Francisco 49er shot glasses. They sold for $10.79. And everything I'm showing you guys is used stuff. I don't think there's any new stuff in here unless it was, uh, unless it was mis mislabeled. So here's a Cozumel tall shot glass. It sold for $5. And I'm pretty sure they charged shipping on this one. So it was, uh, let's check it out. They did, $4. So this was a $9 sale. You probably could have picked this up at a thrift shop for $0.50 cent and you would have netted it right around like $6 on that. Jamaica shot glasses. Michigan. Mostly the location shot glasses are really good. Any shot glasses that have recipes on them are good. These Crystal Head Vodka shot glasses. Um, Hard Rock shot glasses. Rare shot glasses. Um, you can see most of these are location. Gumby, this is a rare one, $12.50. Atari, $4.00. Um, swivel sti swizzle sticks are really good. Um, so yeah, so shot glasses are really, really good to keep an eye out for. Daytona sold for $12.95. Um, you know, kind of make sure they're all themed though. If you can pick up four or five Vegas ones uh, at a thrift shop and they're asking 50 cents a piece for them or a dollar a piece for them and you can put them up for $15, score. Uh, I seen a set, it wasn't me, but a guy bought a set of four Beatles shot glasses, you know, Beetle, one Beetle on each, John and Ringo and, and Paul and and George and uh, I think he sold that that set for it was used for like 25 bucks so uh, you know Elvis shot glasses I've seen them sell for 15 20 dollars so shot glasses another good cheap item uh, high profit potential um, bathing suits now this is something that a lot of people kind of groan at me and they turn their lip up use bathing suits Ew, I would never buy a used bathing suit off eBay you're right some of you won't but a lot of people will, and specifically Victoria's Secret. And let me show you some of these prices. 32, 24, 6, 19, 15, 19, 10, 20. So you can see if you can walk into a thrift store or a yard sale or a Goodwill or a Salvation Army and pick up a bathing suit, which I see them for $2.99, $3.99 all the time. Look at the return on your money. Make sure it's matching. Make sure the size is the same. Make sure there's no stains. Wash it really good when you get home. Take really good pictures. I recommend a mannequin. Look how much better this picture here looks than this picture here. Look how much better, or a model if you've got one. Look how much better these pictures look than just these. And, you know, pictures, thousand words. And you can sell some used bathing suits for $20, $30. It's crazy. I personally have not done it. But recently I've seen a lot of people doing it. And I really, really want to get into it. I want to add it to my inventory. I'm not big on selling used bathing suits, except men's shorts. But I think I'm going to start selling some of these. They're really good return on margins. And I see them a lot, too, because I'm in Florida. So if you're up north, you may not see too many of these. But we see them year-round here in Florida, especially, especially at the Goodwill and Salvation Armies. They're always there. So bathing suits. Um, let's go to... This will be number six. Uh, it's going to be magazines. Time, life, people, um, all those old type magazines. Mad Magazine, Jet Magazine, um, Reader's Digest, National Geographic. If they've got good material, somebody famous, somebody dead, uh, a news story that was big, um, you know, the shuttle, the space shuttle blowing out of the sky, it's worth good money. Um, and this goes along with the newspaper uh, video that I did as well. Newspapers. All newspapers with important dates on them are worth 10 bucks at least, if not more. Um, you know, 9-11 newspapers, I bought a couple of them off a guy at a yard sale uh, a few months back. I gave him 5 bucks for a set of like 4 newspapers from Florida. Uh, I put them up for $40 and they sold within like an hour. I probably priced them too cheap, but they were gone. 9-11 newspapers, important newspapers, important magazines, dates, times... Um, all that good stuff. So, uh, Playboy sell well uh, with the famous people, Farrah Fawcett, Pam Anderson, Carmen Electra, but you got to be approved, and I don't really sell in that that uh, adult section, so I kind of skip out on those. Um, here's Lance Bass, I'm Gay, sold for 5 dollars 
plus uh, probably three or four dollars shipping, three fifty shipping. So nine forty nine they got out of that magazine. It would ship in a first class magazine for two sixty, probably media mail for like two bucks. Um, so good profit there. Um, and uh, yeah, so anybody famous there? Magazines. Um, the next one is going to be neckties. Uh, I've brought up Donald Trump neckties. Obviously, he's in the news right now. He's running for president. He's leading all Republicans. Uh, Donald Trump neckties. These are all used. They're going to sell really good. You're going to get between ten and twenty dollars a tie. Uh, typically at yard sales uh, and thrift stores, they're a dollar for a tie. Two dollars. Our Salvation Army kind of is high on them. I think they're like three or four bucks on half off day. If I can get them for a buck fifty or two, I will. Um, Goodwill is like five dollars for a tie, so I try to stay away from that. I've told you guys a million times, Goodwill's prices are just seem to be going up, 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 up. Uh, the other brands you want to look for on ties: uh, Ralph Lauren Polo, uh, Tommy Hilfiger, um, Donald Trump, uh, the B and B one. Um, anything that's like um, sports related, typically sports teams ones will sell. Christmas ones, gag gift ones, uh, famous people, Star Wars. All that kind of stuff. Uh, or anything with really high quality silk, 100% Chinese silk, uh, whatever it is, you can kind of tell just by feeling it. But keep an eye out for those higher end um, neckties and those fancy gag gift neckties and those those graphic neckties. So that's a really good one. Um, number uh, eight is going to be sports equipment. So I've sold quite a few of these. You guys have probably seen them on my eBay or my, my YouTube channels as well. Um, Catcher's mitts, they're very expensive. Uh, you can usually get twenty to forty dollars per mitt. So if you can find one at a at a Goodwill, I bought one at a Goodwill store for five dollars. I sold it for twenty five. I bought one at a yard sale for three dollars. I sold it for twenty nine. Uh, I found a few at thrift stores for a few bucks that I sold for nineteen and sixteen. Catcher's mitts are really good. Use sports equipment, baseball gloves if they're name brand, Wilson, uh, you know all that kind of stuff. Easton, um, catcher's mitts. First baseman mitts are really rare if you can find a first baseman mitt. And if you don't know what that is, Google it. Uh, it goes typically first baseman or left-handed. goes on the right hand. It's got kind of a catcher's tight mitt out of it, but it's a little different. Uh, it can be made for right-handers as well, but typically they're left-handers. Uh, they're pretty rare. So if you can find first baseman's uh, mitts, that's good. Catcher mitt. Um, protective. I actually just sold one. The underneath, they go under your clothes. They're protective chest piece and heart protectors. Uh, I found a youth one. And a, a Goodwill outlet bin, it probably cost me a quarter. It sold for $20 the first day I have it up. If you look under solds right now, uh, you'll find mine. It was a youth uh, a youth medium. Um, but those are really good. Um, other sports equipment that's good to look for. There's a lot of good tennis rackets. They're hard to ship, but if you can find some good tennis rackets, sports equipment. Just use sports equipment in general. I always look for the baseball gloves. Like I said, eBay is a niche. You know, Find what works for you and make it happen. Make it work for you. I'm good with gloves. I know how much they cost to ship. I know how to ship them. I know how much to pay for them. And I know what they're worth. So that's what I go after. But there's other people I see that sell tennis rackets, people I see that sell, you know, uh, lacrosse equipment, uh, people I know that sell ping pong stuff. There's just all kinds of different sports equipment that you can buy. Uh, I happen to like gloves. Um, plush toys. A lot of people stay away from plush toys because they're just plushes. But let me tell you something plush toys are about as easy as it comes as easy as it comes they're easy to cheap easy to ship cheap to ship protecting them is not difficult of course they're everywhere they're in every thrift store every every uh goodwill outlet goodwill retail store the bin stores they're at every yard sale garage sale everybody wants the stuffed animals to go away and that's where you come in pokemon stuffed animals anything cartoon mickey minnie winnie winnie the pooh uh, tigger um, Eeyore, it's all good, good, good stuff. I look for any of this. Jake and the Neverland Pilot, Pirates, I just sold one for uh, like $15. Um, and they're super cheap to get. I mean, you can buy stuff for $0.50 cents and a dollar that you can resell for $15 and 20 So plush toys, some of the best items you can buy. Keep an eye out for them. Um, in fact, Douglas Toys, uh, Simba, and Nala from The Lion King, I bought one for $3.68 at a Goodwill store in Lakeland, Florida. And I knew about this only because I saw it on somebody else's video. It's the Bonafide Hustler, actually. And uh, it turns out it ended up selling for $199. They're very, very collectible, very rare. And that was a plush that I bought. It was it was good size, you know, 
as big as big as me almost, but it sold for 200 bucks. It cost me $20 to ship it and insure it. 180 after my fees, I got 160 on a $3 purchase. You can't really beat that, guys. Plush animals, plush toys, look for them. Uh, and the last one I'm going to tell you guys about is remote controls. Bose remote controls are very expensive. Look, look at this. $40 remote, $79, $55. Any Bose remotes that you can find. Look for waterproof remote controls. Look for jumbo remote controls. Look for Brookstone remote controls. Look for surround sound system remote controls. Look for the remote controls that have the LCD screens on them. The ones that control your windows, your lights. There's, they sell those. They're, those things are two and three hundred dollars, brand new. Four hundred, five hundred dollars, brand new. I bought one out of uh, with the LCD screen, the lights, all the different controls that you can program out of a, a pawn shop for like fifteen dollars one time. I think I spent on it. Thing sold for hundred and thirty dollars. It turns out it was like a four hundred dollar remote, brand new, and I sold it for one thirty, which. Dumb me, probably could have got more out of it. But, uh, yeah, so that, folks, is the top 10 unorthodox random odd items that I suggest you guys buy and sell for a profit. Let's go over them again. Uh, number one is game pieces. You're looking for Monopoly, Scrabble, uh, anything to complete a game that you might be able to lose. Number two is action figures, your G.I. Joes, your He-Man, um, any small superhero uh, Avengers action figures. Number three is your girls' toys, your um, uh, your My Little Pony, your Polly Pockets, uh, your Bratz dolls, any of that kind of stuff. Girls' toys, really, really good. Number four is shot glasses, uh, collectible sports teams, locations, Vegas, uh, rare Beatles, you know, any anything like that. Bar memorabilia. Uh, you know, anything with like a brand of a vodka, Ciroc, Grey Goose, stuff like that's really good. Number five, bathing suits. Um, Victoria's Secret, Tommy Hilfiger, uh, Burberry, if you can get it, any name brand, use bathing suits. Victoria's Secret especially. Number six, magazines, Time, Life, People, uh, Reader's Digest, Jet, uh, Playboy if you're into it, anything like that. Um, a lot of Maximum magazines sell really good as well. Um... Next is going to be uh, ties. Uh, again, polo, Tommy Hilfiger, Donald Trump ties, silk ties, uh, gag gift ties, sports teams ties, any of that type of stuff. Um, number eight, sports equipment, especially uh, baseball gloves, catcher's mitts, uh, used equipment like that. Um, golf balls. A lot of people sell golf balls. Golf balls are good. I sold them a few times. If you can get, you know, I've gone into thrift stores where they have. Uh, a whole bin of golf balls for five bucks. Scoop it on up, take the Nike ones out, clean them up, put them up for 10 to $15 a piece. Uh, number nine, plush toys. Pokemon, Winnie the Pooh, Disney, Mickey, Minnie, um, Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Anything your kids watch on TV, plush toys. Really, really good. Um, Beanie Babies, uh, there are some rare ones. Uh, if you see Beanie Babies for sale, you have the opportunity to buy them. Look them up before you buy them. Uh, and last, remote controls. Waterproof remote controls, LCD remote controls, Bose surround sounds, uh, Sony surround sounds, Samsung, any kind of high-end um, piece of merchandise that would require a remote control that somebody could lose. Um, so that's the 10 items, guys. Uh, any questions, concern, bang down there. My social media is down there. Every day I buy stuff, I put pictures up on Instagram. Uh, I link my videos on Facebook and Twitter along with more pictures. So make sure to follow us on those three. The three links are right down there in the description. Uh, I appreciate all the views, all you guys that have subscribed to this channel. Um, we've gone from like 10 subscribers to almost 300 subscribers in just under two months. I really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm going to keep putting out three to five videos a week for you guys uh, with all kinds of different stuff that I buy, my journeys, my travels, stuff that I sell people that I meet, everything that I'm doing. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to have a personal channel come out about everything except work. Uh, and uh, it's going to be called uh, One Life in Paris. Uh, that's the number one life in, and my last name, Paris, P-A-R-R-I-S. So look for that. It should be getting going this weekend, guys. Uh, thanks for everything. Have a great Tuesday, great Wednesday, great rest of the week, and I will see you guys next time.